It's showtime. What's up, bro? So today is the day. The whole reason this trip to Vermont happened. We are going to the Beetlejuice experience, which is on set cinema. Uh, it's put on by the Myers House in North Carolina. And they have these events for like Friday the 13th, uh, Halloween, I believe. A lot of the horror movies, but they're doing the Beetlejuice one. And I am super, super excited about it. What, do you, what about you, Zai? Yeah, I'm excited too. So, this should be awesome. As far as I know, um, obviously when they're playing the movie, the movie's copyrighted and you guys can watch the movie on your own. There's no reason for me to film that. But uh, after check-in, they have uh, a two-hour tour, I believe, where they take you to all the filming locations. And then after that, they have an optional dinner that's like an extra $10 is nothing for dinner. That's held at, the, at a church nearby. And then after that, uh, costume contest, which maybe will participate. Um, I have stuff with me. Right now it's 101 degrees, so don't really feel like getting in the costume yet, but um, I do believe on the site location tour I can film. I'm going to verify that when I go in here and check in in just a few moments. And yeah, I'm really excited to do this. I'm excited to make this video and I hope you guys love it and hopefully I can film a lot of the uh, filming locations tour. Okay, so we got all checked in. Um, talked to the guy that runs these, super cool guy. His name's Kenny. Uh, cool fact about it, he built a life-size replica of the Michael Myers house and he lives in it that is his house now like that's taken being a fan to a whole new level I think that is amazing um, so when you check in you get to meet him you sign in they give you a t-shirt this is a cool t-shirt I got I think it's cool anyways I think it's pretty pretty sweet you know there's not gonna be a ton of them because well it's just for this event uh, which makes it even cooler. Yellow wristband, which he said you don't have to wear. Keep as a souvenir for on-set cinemas. Check them out. On-set cinemas. Check them out. Tons of cool tours coming up, including he does a Halloween party every year at his house, which, like I said, is built like the Michael Myers house, uh, exact replica, uh, and shows Halloween films and that on-site. So. Uh, that's the uh, Halloween bash. I think tickets are only like 55 bucks for it. So it's in North Carolina If you like Michael Myers, I would definitely check it out um, Maybe a road trip. Maybe you live in North Carolina, but Yeah, I think we're going to this year Probably have a few friends go with me too because I got some pretty big Halloween fans So, okay, we got some makeup here and uh, an outfit so we are going to go ahead and see if we can transform me into Beetlejuice
And yes, I'm gonna die in this heat because it is over 100 degrees and I decided to be stupid and go ahead and put a flannel on as well as pants. But here's the fun, right? Same boots. Yes, the boots do not match his outfit, but the only boots I wear are Doc Martens, so he's so green. So, in the words of Beetlejuice, nice effing model, Hong Kong. So we're in the bee barn where they made the props and that. Got a couple of the props, you got the release sign. And one of the graves over here. And I was told we will be at the historic society that will have the hardware sign. So that should be cool. And I'm waiting on the bus and we will be going on the filming set. So right over here is where they built the cemetery to be all juice. Barbara and Adam, when they are leaving their house, so their house is up on the hill there and we'll go there um, later, but when they when they drive in their car, they're, they're coming from this road over on the other side of where the covered bridge was, so they come into town this way right here is exactly where they come. Um, and this is the Blake Library for Corinth. And this is really interesting. So, with, you know, because I'm a huge geek and I've been researching this town for so long, it's just ridiculous. But I, I didn't understand why this building looked different. So what they did, um, I guess Tim Burton did not like the look of this building. So they completely recreated a facade around this house. And, and there's no... I mean, you barely see it in the movie. So it's amazing that they completely built a two-story structure here. But what they built, it was the original library. So it looks exactly like the original library that was here back in the day. So it's really cool that um, I think it was really interesting for the people who lived here and knew about the town for a week. They filmed here for a week. So, um, so they got to see how the town originally was back in the day um, with the library. I'm amazed that this is still here and this is still standing. But this is um, Midland Hardware was right here. Um, and of course, Adam and Barbara, they pull up. They park the car right here. Um, they have Bill the Barber sitting here. Adam goes in, gets a paintbrush, and I think he gets a, uh, another um, building for his model. Uh, yeah, but Bill, I don't know if he, he sounds like a, like, I don't know if he was from Vermont. I don't know if he was a local actor or someone they brought in um, or not. But, um, but yeah, all that was right here and uh, they're trying to restore this. I really hope that they do. Um, so we'll see. It's in pretty bad condition right now, which is unfortunate. Um, and then this is um, obviously uh, East Corinth uh, Church, the center of the town. You can see this all over Beale. Um and it, it seemed like the way that they framed the shots, um, that this church steeple and everything is in it from almost every shot that they do. All right. All right, so when, so when they come into town, um, there's a shot from basically right here. They stop here and they talk to, um, to Ernie. Um, he, he's right here and he's uh, you know, brushing the... Uh, was it like a lion or something? Yeah. And they stop right here. And apparently, there's a there's a cut scene that they did. Um, but when they when Barbara turns the car around right there, comes back here. And apparently, um, I think Alec Baldwin he said, "Don't forget to shine the ball." Um, <laughs> and that got covered. <laughs> but it's pretty it's pretty funny um, trivia. And uh, it's it's pretty amazing how how close everything is here. Um, and then right here was where the bridge was. Oh. So as you can see, the, uh, Wade, who lives in this house down here, he put up little signs for everybody. It's not there anymore. I know, but the pictures made uh, This is where the cover of the bridge was. There's a photo of it. But yeah, they come in and out of no town. No longer covered. Uh, well, it is now. Um, and torn down, they come but it's still pretty cool. Beyond, uh, this little bridge right here. So the bridge in the movie, the original bridge, it was very old. Um, and it was just one lane. Um, 
I, I don't know when they reconstructed this, but the bridge was basically a little bit further left. Um, yeah, and, and uh, they brought in, it, it was not originally a covered bridge. Um, they built that specifically for Beetlejuice. Um, and they gave that to uh, Northeastern Slopes, um, which we're gonna bust people over and you're gonna be able to actually see the covered bridge from the movie, which is pretty incredible. Um, after we're done with the filming locations tour, the Historical Society, it's right down on the right, past the church, but that is gonna be open um, from I think about 5 to 6.30 and they have the original Midland hardware sign in there. They have, uh, I think, uh, three tombstones from the library. They have a real estate sign. They have an actual uh, piece of the broken uh, board from the covered bridge in there. Um, and a bunch of great history about the town. So I highly recommend that you go check that out and get pictures. It's, I mean, just to see the Mitten Harbor sign is pretty, it's pretty amazing. Because um, I do a lot of this stuff and it's, it's pretty incredible when these massive productions are done filming and they just basically just trash everything. Um, except obviously key props and stuff like that. But yeah, so um, luckily uh, the town has preserved those and we're gonna be able to see some of them. Okay. It, okay, so when they built the covered bridge for the movie, they were able to kind of camouflage that one or was yeah, it built over that? Legit. Yeah, it was, no. just, it was just built over it. That's so very funny about filming. They only filmed here for one week. And in the, in the middle of filming, it snowed. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. So there was about one or two inches of snow when they woke up. And all these people from, you know, Los Angeles and stuff, so a lot of them had never even seen snow. So they had to stop the production for an entire day while they were filming here. And they built snow, like, snow day. So we're walking up to the location where they built the house for Beetlejuice right now. Obviously, it's not there because it was a uh, prop for the movie. But basically, right there where that tree is, the bigger tree, that's where the house was. So this comes, this uh, hill comes up, and it kind of peaks right there where the tree is. Um, and again, all of this was uh, was brush; it was not grown up, and they put the house right on the edge of the the hill. The way uh, he put a sign there, it shows how the house was. Um, so this road that you see right here, this was the road that they built specifically for the film. So yeah, right up on that hill, that is where they built the house. It's pretty amazing to think that I was just standing where Tim Burton built the Beetlejuice house. This whole thing is pretty amazing, honestly. So I highly recommend you coming on one of these. Uh, these tours, you'll definitely not be disappointed. It's like 102 degrees right now. I'm sweating to death, but I'm having the time of my life. So, I think that's as, about as much as you can say about it. It's a great time. Still got more to see though, so continue watching. So did they just build the back of it to protect the stuff from the elements? Yeah, so... Is there a little plaque or anything in it that says something? Nah, we, we're just... We don't really showcase too much. So yeah, essentially, after uh, after they made the movie, they um, they were actually going to throw it away. They were going to scrap it, because, I don't know what they do, I guess. So they were going to throw it away, but because... Vermonters generally don't like to throw anything away. They said, no, we're going to take that. So they just brought it over here, dismantled it, brought it over, and just cover up our engine that runs the rope tow. So, yeah, that's, that's what we did. <laughs> yep. Yep. Here's a bit of the bridge from when it was in the movie. So this is the covered bridge. Obviously, it's been built on... Um, this is also the country's longest running manual rope tow for skiing. And it's all done by volunteer. It's the second oldest in the country and it's the longest continuously operating. So that's pretty cool too.
Yes, yeah, this is the bridge that they drove the car through. And, and there's the world of the recently deceased. So that is pretty amazing. And as you probably heard him saying, they were actually going to just throw this away, tear it down and, and throw it away. And the people of the town asked if they could have it, so they tore it down transported it and rebuilt it here threw it back on it to take it from the elements and now it houses the engine that operates a manual rope tow so it's pretty cool stuff it's pretty cool to see the actual bridge where they met their demise thanks to a little puppy So here's the Miss Shannon School for Girls in the movie. And we're gonna go walk down the street to the Historic Society <clears throat> where they have props and photos and that from when the movie was filmed. It's not a ton of elements. Still a lot of the stuff was built for the movie, but just to stand in the locations where it was filmed and where this stuff was built. It's pretty amazing. Uh, specifically the house. That was a big one for me to stand in where the house was. Um, and that lady does not, don't try to go up there. She does not allow people on her property. Um, she didn't even want to let the tour on. And the lady that owns the bee barn, which is where we're watching the movie tonight, I uh, went up and talked to her and got her to let us go up the hill to where the house was so that was pretty special and pretty awesome yeah you too especially <laughs> so yeah. here's some of the gravestones you have to get like copyright forms to dress that way or... There's a sign from the hardware store. Yeah, mainly the hardware store signs kind of out of context, but it's a big thing. So we had to hang it somewhere. Now we're trying to figure out how to make a special room for Beetlejuice. <laughs> <YouTube. laughs> yeah. So yeah, we've been collecting things uh, over the years, and and, uh, and then there's a little binder that we put together. But at least that gives you a sense of what we got. Are you guys fans of the movie? No, we're not. Not? <laughs> I missed the movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is where the fire department was. Uh, and really, all they did was put a top piece, I don't know if you guys could hear them earlier, a facade over the three-car garage and they said fire department and pretty much parked a fire truck there. And just like they did today, so. so. We'll walk over to the bridge. So you can see they did rebuild this like two years ago into what it is now, um, I believe is what he said, but it used to be like two foot over to the right, I think he said, and uh, it was just wood timbers. And if I'm right, those timbers right there in that yard are the timbers from the old one lane bridge. So, it's kind of cool. People don't like to get rid of stuff around here and they like their history, which I definitely think is cool and appreciate. So, this is the river they went into. Or creek whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, so they, they dammed it up over on this side so that the water would be deep enough. But yeah, that is the tour of East Corinth and the filming locations 
for Beetlejuice. So yeah, that's gonna conclude our tour of the Beetlejuice filming locations and uh, East Corinth. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, smash that like button, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, hit the notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos. I'm trying to do two a week right now. And one side note, while we're here, if you come out this way and this library is open, you're supposed to have a lot of cool photos and that from the movie and behind the scenes stuff. So something cool you can check out is right beside the bee barn. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you'd like to see that things done different, something different. Got a place for me to go check out. Filming location, haunted place. Anything cool, wacky, or fun. I am glad to do. So, let me know in the comment section. And remember, death is coming. Only thing guaranteed to us all. So, <clears throat> live your life today. Live your best life. Go out, have an adventure, enjoy life. Don't let it pass you by. Peace, love to everyone. I'm out.